Hi guys! I'm now back in Cebu. Medyo napagtanto ko sa pag-scroll ko dito sa videos ko sa Facebook. Narealize ko ang isang bagay na paulit-ulit na ginagamit ng mga taong ayos sa gobyerno natin laban sa gobyerno natin, ang ICC. Siyempre, bago ko ito nakilala yung ICC kasi medyo bago lang naman talaga yung pangalan na ito, eh medyo ginugal ko muna, research ko muna kung ano. And then may napagtanto lang ako ng mga bagay na gusto kong ipaliwanag sa akin. Kasi may hindi ako naiintindihan. Una sa lahat, ang ICC pala ay International Court. Okay? Una. Pangalawa, ano po ba ang motibo ng ICC at pumupunta kayo dito sa Pilipinas? Okay? What is the clear motive and objective of what you are doing to the Philippines? Alright? Isa yan. Pangalawa, you keep on insisting that the anti-drug campaign of the country is bloody. Okay? That's what you are saying. That's what you are insinuating as well. I want to understand now, so if you are so good, then why are you interfering with the Philippine courts? Have the cases not been filed? Are you now saying to the Filipinos that the NBI, the PNP, the CIDG, and the DOJ is not working? Have none of the cases that you allege, have they not been talked about or in case filed in the proper courts of the Philippines? Are you now telling us that our justice system is not working? Really? If to investigate, walang problema. Open naman yan lahat. However, however, the fact of the matter is, you cannot simply tell Filipinos how we should think when we are the ones living here in the Philippines. The statistics, you have them. But the reality is this. The anti-drug campaign of the government is working. It's bloody because it's working. The streets are safer. Personally, I have been witness to people on two sides of the spectrum. The victims, those who are killed by their heads cut off, dribbled, and used like a ball, or their faces skinned by drug addicts. Where were you then? Mm -hmm. Our streets in the Philippines are safer. Have you been here? Do you feel what we generally feel now? The drug-infested areas are much cleaner. So again, if you are in the Philippines, then why are you not in the U.S. when the Indian Americans are being slaughtered by genocide? Or the fact that you were not there for Japan when they were bombed, even when they were reeling from a defeat? Where were you then for the other countries such as Afghanistan, Iraq, and Syria? Why are you focusing on the Philippines all of a sudden? A third world country that is far safer than all of the other countries I said combined. Let's think about that for a while, shall we? And get back to me with my questions. Ingat! Mwah!